I found this little duck in my mom's apartment and I put it here <laughs> next to the Buddha. Looks so cool with the frost on him. Are you enjoying the sun, Muni? Like Shiva told us to do? Yes, she is. It's freezing cold, but how cool is that? I'm such a sucker for shadows. Shadow play. Look at that. Maybe we should go over and take a look at the Shivis today. Hey girl! <laughs> you find something. <laughs> Hi Moon. All <laughs> the tiny crunches that you make when you walk in the snow is so cute. Good morning, people. As you guys can see, we are doing something different today. Let me just put this magic on. So confused today. Uh, okay. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I did not do a good job with putting it up in a whatever you call this. And my hair is a mess, but sometimes, you know, it's okay to let it be a mess. Okay. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I'm going to do makeup because a lot of you guys have asked me makeup questions. Like, what do I use? How do I do my makeup? <laughs> what mascara I use? Foundation? Powder? Whatever it is. So I'm going to show you all what it is. The candle is making very strange noises. And I'm going to talk about things because magical <laughs> things happened yesterday with you know Amanda and something happened because we visited my mom's grave and there was something magical happening which was a bit unbelievable but I'm going to talk about that later but I'm just going to talk about like you know experiences what you guys might also go through whatever else I you know want to talk about while I do my makeup and I will put timestamps if people don't want to listen to me talk about weird stuff and doing my makeup. If you want to just jump ahead to, I don't know, <laughs> um, a little trip I did with Moon Moon, <laughs> it was also adorable. Or if you want to skip to the lesson or to the daily reading, because this is going to be a longer video where I put everything in it. Yeah. If you're starting a day and you want to do your makeup with me you can do so again I'll put timestamp down to when I do my makeup because first of all I'm going to show you guys um, clips from uh, I think it was yesterday yeah and then I will see you guys after There's huge shadows from birds what's happening 
I know Moon Moon is out there trying to kill more birds. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Oh, Muni. <laughs> you are so majestic in the sun. You ready? What is it? <laughs> Moon is scaring the birds away. <laughs> She's right there. Are you enjoying the sun, Mooney? <laughs> Are you enjoying the sun? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh!
Is it good that it's sunshine? Finally. <laughs> no luck with the birds? <laughs> There's a moon. Welcome back, Earthlings. <laughs> okay. Are we ready to do some makeup? Maybe I need my foundation. It is a bit chilly, so we. The first thing that I always start out with is my brows and normally I do use Anastasia or oh, Anastasia in Beverly Hills but I don't have it in my color right now so I just found something very cheap that I'm going to use yeah so it's like brown that is what I'm doing <laughs> that is the first thing the brush that I use is my favorite because this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills but it's teeny tiny I don't know if I can even show you guys what the hell but it's teeny tiny and it has like a brush oh <laughs> the wow what a lot of things are happening so a lot of sea eagles and they are very very uh, close to the ground. Moon, what are they doing? Can you guys hear that? I know my mom has sent me a lot of signs when it comes to sea eagles, so maybe it's from her. I don't know what's happening. Whoa. Okay. And the raven. Oh, okay, I will take the phone and I will go outside try to film it, okay? Taking over, uh, yeah. Moon Moon is still down here, enjoying the sun. Where are you seagulls? Oh my god, what is happening, people? What is... Something is happening, I'm telling you guys, something is happening. Something is happening. This is a sign. Is that ravens? Hello, beauties. How strange is that? Oh my God. I can't believe that this is happening. What the hell? <laughs> hey, babies. Oh my God. Okay, okay. If this is not a sign for... Oh my. Hagging God. What is happening? Do you guys see this? What is this? And then the seagulls. If anyone has an idea what this could mean. I'm actually unsure if it's ravens. What do you think, Mooney? And they're, oh, they're big, the seagulls. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Oh my god, Moon! What is happening? It's very beautiful. It's new life. Yeah. No one comes saying like, it's a bad omen. <laughs> it's not. Oh, Mooney. <laughs> What's up? Are you confused? Yeah, there's a lot of birds. <laughs> that is absolutely bananas. Do you guys know what kind of birds it is? Is it ravens? What is it? Are they just having a little, you know? Like meeting, like where should we go? Okay. Whoa. Oh my God. This is bananas. Okay. Meeting over. 
I think they are enjoying that the, you know, that it's sunny. How do you speak bird? Oh, a couple. Well, I'm not going to eat you guys. It's just Moon Moon. They're singing to us people. If you look at them, try to see if they have a message. Are they telling you something? coming back. <laughs> the meeting is not over. <laughs> There's cute noises. I wonder what this means. Or why they do that. What do you think, Mooney? <laughs> Did you find something down there? <laughs> Today is just all about Moon Moon. All you and me and Moon Moon and birds. Well, the seagulls also just disappeared. It's so funny because it actually happened when me and Kiri was at the beach. Like there was a mixture between ravens and seagulls. I will link the video up here. Oh, that was crazy. Moon Moon. Moon Moon. Moon Moon. Are you having fun, Moon Moon? Hmm? <laughs> I think she's enjoying that the weather is warmer. Yes, you do. <laughs> How freaking cool was that, people? Hey, well, if something else happens outside, I will go out. Whoa! It's such a... I don't know. It feels like a very brilliant day, like a very warm day. I'm very grateful. Why do I get emotional with that? <laughs> what is wrong with me? So we uh, came to browse. I have this weird thing that I actually got from Kiri. Um, I, uh, if I can find it, I would try to link it down below. But it removes like, you know, whatever you have on your brush, so that it's clean. And it's, you know, doing it very easy. You just dip it, and then you just do this, and it's clean. You don't need a lot. I also have something else that I use when I have customers, but it's not here. You know, the magical thing is that, you know, I I have a friend who is pregnant and I took pictures of her the first time she was pregnant. And that is, I don't know, one year, if not longer ago. And she was here yesterday with her boyfriend and <laughs> the little daughter. So I saw her and she's so adorable. And, you know, we took the, the pregnancy for the new baby. Oh. Yeah, the seagulls are here again. And she saw the flowers that I got from my earth angel and she actually used like two of the flowers like uh, on the stomach. That was adorable. I would try to, to show the pictures. She has chosen her pictures so I have edited the first ones. Um, later I'm going to edit more. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. By the way, I actually have a video where you guys can see my dad and some of my brothers. <laughs> well, all of my brothers, actually. I'm gonna link it up here. It's when um, my niece, Maya, got confirmed. Confirmia? Yeah, I don't know what you call that. So, if you wanna see and meet my dad. Yes. Okay, so I'm just brushing, you know. Brushing them through. And 
and I just paint them. I'm not that careful in the beginning because I'm going to fix them up after. But I feel that this Mercury retrograde has really been, you know, it kind of made it a little bit tough for a lot of us, I feel. And not only it is an Aquarius, it does make us be a lot in our mind. And like I said, there is not so much fire signs around us, so we might be the motivated I don't think I can use that word but we might be not so motivated and I spoke with Amanda about that because he has felt that energy as well and um, I actually feel like it is because of the planets it's not so much because that there's something wrong with us but we are pushing through boundaries and we are trying to you know connect with what's up with this light with what's important breaking uh, loose of fear and breaking loose of trying to have control of everything because i know that i have been dealing with that you can control everything you're not supposed to control <laughs> what is happening out there <laughs> okay <laughs> so you know. <laughs> I might also cut a little bit because I don't want this to be too long. I'm always distracted by everything around me. If you are air sign, you're probably the same. I don't know if it's the air sign in me, but I feel like it is. Maybe it's the Leo rising in me. Maybe it's the Scorpio in me. <laughs> Is it? What is it? So if you also have felt this the, you know, I don't know why I want to call it demotivation. Is it what it's called? Oh, where you don't really, you know, like you want to do things, but you just procrastinate. It's because of the planets. The seagulls are going crazy, absolutely crazy. I do want to really want to film them. One one is so confused. What are you guys doing? <laughs> well, I guess they are also looking for food. Don't eat Waylon, okay. The neighbor's rooster. <laughs> yeah, you guys are making a lot of noise. I can wow, there's a lot of them. I can't even see when I'm filming because of the sun. Oh, hey buddy. I love these sounds from nature. It's very calming. You can hear cars. Only thing you can hear is nature, the roosters, the birds. <laughs> I heard Shiva say it's a sympathy. Symphony. True. Look at them. The gang of seagulls, and we have the gang of the black big birds. There's so much gang activity here. <laughs> I heard she was say that it's the energy is right at the moment here. Mm. Okay, I use this that I don't know where it's from anymore uh, to fix up the brows. I haven't removed this. I always enjoy doing that. 
Oh, I can use this because the other one is a bit big. Foundation I use is always Estee Lauder because, you know, it has an amazing, you know, coverage. Is that what you call it? It's just very good. And this is in porcelain. I mean, because I am pale. I will put a vlog up here from when me and Kiri was in UK when I did my makeup too. A lot of you guys have been asking about Kiri. And I mean, you know, I guess that you go through phases where you, you know, like talk with people a lot and then you don't talk with people a lot. You know, and she has been busy, so there's no bad blood between us or anything like that. We just haven't, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I guess there's a, you know, meaning for it. She just got a new job, so, you know, that's also a part of it. But a lot of you guys have been asking, so, you know, I'm just going to clear up that it's not because that we, you know, don't talk. So I'm just fixing up. But I find myself being more peaceful and I find myself not, like I said, wanting to control situations because if you start up trying to control situations or push through something that you want in your life something you want to happen then the universe is stopping you putting roadblocks because that you need to learn to be one with yourself you need to learn to be very 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 patient and you know there is so much more to this word being patient because being patient is many layers of trusting going with the flow not you know again still being motivated even through that you feel like you are waiting and i know for a lot of us 2020 was like <laughs> us waiting for a package from amazon that never arrived right <laughs> And it kind of feels the same way with the beginning of 2021. But I feel that it's because that something is pushing through. Something is happening. And again, we humans, we do need to learn to trust that even through that we might not see something coming. It is coming. And if you are very still using the foundation, just to have a base for the eyeshadow, um, if you're being very still, you can see the signs around you. Pay attention to those signs. Now, I know a lot of you guys have already received like signs also in readings where it says like you are on your, the right track. You know, you're doing a good job, but our earthly 10% has a, ten a tendency to feel that it's not enough, you know, if I can't see it, then it's not here. And the moment you do this, or do that, or say that, or feel that, the seed that is growing is pulling back down to the earth, because it's like, okay, guess you're not ready for what's coming. And if you think about what it is that you're really manifesting, you need to be on that vibration, and you need to be prepared for it. And I you know, I would will bet my old hat <laughs> that what you truly want to manifest is something you have never experienced before. It's something that you might have had a hard time seeing yourself having or being in. And it probably means that you need to step out of your old self. You need to be... I heard boundless, boundaryless. You need to fully trust in yourself, accept yourself and the beings around you, and you need to let things flow. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know what I actually should do with the makeup. This one is one of my faves. But as you guys can see, yeah. What else do we have? I also have the Luna Cosmetic. Um, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so adorable. But again, it's very warm colors, and for some reason, I'm you know I have been into warm colors, but I'm not that much into it. 
But again, you know, me being a photographer and doing makeup on people, I do use the palette, but on myself, I mean, not going there today. I mean, well, I could actually, well, I could use this one. Is it Giza? I don't know what it is. Should we just take that? So I do a foundation after because that is more practical. I also do that when I have customers. Okay, but yeah, there's a lot of things happening, people, for you, for me, for your soulmate, your twin flame, your family, your siblings. Everyone is changing if you take a look around. And it's hard for some people to go through this change. So if you are like frustrated about someone in your life who is just slow at healing or slow at realizing something, you need to release that and you need to let that other person go through the lessons themselves. That's something I had to learn because in the past I have been very good at, you know, you know, trying to make people see what they need to see. But obviously if they're not ready to see it, they will never see it. So if you're dealing with that, you know what that means now. <laughs> okay, so I'm just putting it on my lid. <laughs> It's a long time since I did uh, makeup tutorials. I actually done a lot of makeup tutorials on my vlog channel. So again, if you want to see them, go take a look at them. There's also videos with my customers. I actually think there might be some of those videos on this channel. Because as you guys know, I didn't start out using this channel for tarot. It was actually my main channel. Well, it is my main channel now, but it was actually used for vlogging and for everything else. So if you look into the, the first videos in this channel, you will see that, you know, it's not about tarot. I even think I have a video with my ex-boyfriend and uh, someone else that I dated that I let go of recently. Oh, yeah, that was a back and forth thing and I was just like, okay, Sandra. Do you want to be a back and forth girl or do you want to move forward, you know? And I can feel that in my life that there's a lot of people from my past that are actually falling away. And I think for me it was a little bit like, well, I don't want to let go of those people because it was a part of my past, my more rebellion past. <laughs> and it's been hard for me to let go of that, but I did it. I'm like, I don't need that. Okay, so we use the Renaissance and I use the warm as a tape. What is it? This. I think this is what I'm going for. I keep hearing stuff. By the way, Moon Moon had a bird. Um, she dragged the bird in again as a gift. And I was very like, oh my god, good girl. <laughs> and she was sitting down and was like looking at me. And I took the bird, you know, I was holding it in my hand. I was like, oh my god, it's tiny. And Moon Moon, it was so sweet because I was kneeling down, you know, holding this bird. And she was coming over to me. And she, you know, she did like a little poof with the head, um, you know on the bird that was in my hand. Does that make sense? That was very adorable. So like, this is yours now. <laughs> but then, you know, I was like, okay, Moon Moon, I'm not going to play with that thing. <laughs> so, um, and I don't want to have it in the studio. So I put it out there and then she went out there and she was like, you know, throwing it, tossing it up in the, in the air. And I felt so bad. But again, I know that, you know, it's, you know, it's what cats do, right? <laughs> so it's just, okay. And I did the Gemini reading at that time. And it's so funny because at the, the Gemini reading, you can hear my reaction because then, you know, she came in with it. I was like, <gasps> it's like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Just in Danish. Like, nine, 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 nine. <laughs> Moon! Oh man. And then she tossed the bird somewhere in between something so she couldn't find it again, but I found it for her. So I gave it to her and then she ate it. I was like, okay. Well, bon appetit, Moon Moon. That was so funny. Okay, 
I'm putting it on, can you guys see, you know, this part and I'm blending it out. Again, if you do makeup, it's okay if it's messy. I have done a lot of like lessons, makeup lessons for people who can book that and I'm always, it's so, it's so funny to suddenly remember stuff like that that you have done. It's so nice. You know, who knows, maybe I will do that again. Also with the photography, it's not like I, whoa, that was the line, that I totally release the photography because it's still a part of my life, but I decide who I want to work with. Wow, I might have taken a little bit too much here. You know, sometimes you just go overboard. Well, I can fix it. <laughs> Again, it's like life. There's nothing that you can fix. But, damn Sandra, what did you do here? Well, if you talk and you talk and you talk and you dip and you dip and you dip, don't put too much on your brush. Don't do a uh, oopsie like I just did. Oh man. <laughs> Shit. Oh. <laughs> okay, then I take a very tiny one. A flat one and I just put it under but these colors are also very like BAM Ugh. but I have been thinking about that I actually want to do crazy makeup again do pictures and stuff like that yeah okay I kind of want to use this one again for fixing up so I'm just going to clean it. It's so easy with this to clean it because voila clean. I mean <laughs> you know if you can use this for your entire life <laughs> clean away the boy the ex-boyfriend right <laughs> ex-girlfriend <laughs> if you are a guy watching <laughs> Okay, what am I doing with my life? I have no clue. And I did a post today because Shiva pushed through and was like, I have a song I want to share with your soul family. Watch the, um, the post. But it was when I heard the song the first time, I actually started crying for some reason. But as Tira also explained, it's a release of something old. So, you know, just let it flow. Okay, I'm correcting. I am doing whatever I need to do here to fix up my mistakes. Looking like a panda. And then after, I actually went outside to watch it, or to, to listen to the song. And I was facing the sun and I closed my eyes and I was just taking everything in. And then while I had my eyes closed, I could see this, you know, color forming. First it was black, then it turned to red and then it turned to deep purple. And then I saw a phoenix flapping out, flapping out the wings and the wings went up and then it became a, a angel. I was like, damn. I love when that happens because sometimes we can be so confused in our 3D worlds that we forget to actually tap in and we forget that we have these abilities to actually see amazing things like that. Okay. Listen, this was not supposed to be so dark. <laughs> but we are rocking it. I mean... I could probably do something. But yeah, that happened. That was very beautiful. Okay, now it's not that crazy. And then I go for makeup. I go for foundation. I have these squeezy squeezies from Real Technique. These are the best ones because um, 
these are the ones that you will, there's pro probably other brands as well, but these are the ones I know. You make them wet every time you use it. Do not use them dry. No, this is very destroyed. I have to buy a new one. I just haven't put my focus on buying makeup. <laughs> but make them wet, clean them every day, every time you use them. And you doobity doop doop. I'm gonna show. I have this one that's empty. This is the best concealer. It's Shape Tape from Shape Tape from Tarte in Fair Natural. It is empty, and again, like I said, I have not been putting money into makeup recently. <laughs> it's tarot cards and crystals <laughs> and camera things. <laughs> But I use it because it's easy to doobity doop doop. And when you use this, oh my god, that's too much foundation. You have to be a little bit quick because that it dries very fast. And when it dries, it's not easy to move around with. But I just, you know, <laughs> do that. Do not. And do not use your fingers, do not use a brush. I mean, if you, it's easy for you to use a brush, you can do it. But if you want to have a finished look, do this. And depending on what I'm doing, you know, sometimes I put two layers, sometimes I just use one layer, depending on how thick it should be. If I'm in Los Angeles, where it's warm and the clima is a bit different, or the air, whatever you call it, I actually use uh, from Helena Rubenstein. No, 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 no. Okay, concentrate, Sandra. From Estee Lauder, I used the. Uh, they have a foundation that's something with water, something I can't remember what it's called, but that's what I use because this one is a bit thick. So if me and Amanda went out, I did use the thicker one, but in the daytime, it's just too heavy. And now I'm just showing you guys how I do it, so I might use more than I would do, you know, on a normal day. Okay, but it's fun. It's fun to be without makeup. It's fun to be with makeup. I don't know what I'm doing today. I think we all go through phases when it comes to makeup. Where we do a lot, where we not do a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I also need Botox again, but again, it's not open. <laughs> And it's not a priority. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the camera is having a hard time knowing if I'm white. <laughs> are you pale? What are you? I don't know. Yeah. I had a moment yesterday where I was actually looking through like old videos from Los Angeles with Amanda. That was so fun. Gosh, I miss traveling, I miss all that. And I have so many memories about LA, so I know that it's because of something is happening. Okay, I need a, some brushes. I love these dragon brushes from Rouge and Row, I believe it is. They are magical. Okay, this is my favorite mascara, but I, I can't get it anywhere right now. I don't know why. From Helena Rubenstein. It's so damn good and if it's hot outside or if it's raining it doesn't you know mess up your mascara the one that i use at the moment is just this one i mean it's good but you know if it's raining or if it's too hot it does leave black marks i realized that when i was outside <laughs> doing the photo shoot with uh, louisa that you guys saw the powder that I use is this one. I haven't used it for long. It's actually new because I wanted to try something new. And it is a um, trans, um, what you call that? Translucent. It's apparently hydrating, which I need. So it has no color. Whoa. It's very silky. It's very magical, actually. It has like a silky touch to it. It works for me. It's actually pretty good. So I just dip and I again I do do it press it on again do not do this I mean again for some people it works but I find it messes up their makeup 
And I do not do the baking thingy dingy because I feel like I'm too old for that. <laughs> I did it in the past. I actually never really got it to work, the baking thing. I don't know if it's just because that my skin is not really good when it comes to that. Yeah. So this is just what I do. <sighs> Close. I do have my faves when it comes to uh, different things. For highlight, I use my old Kat Von D palette. This palette is old and it's still here. I don't know how, but it is. And this is my favorite brush to use for contouring. This is from Real Technique. It's actually a brush. No, it is a contour brush. Well, yeah. And I just mix, I just mix the colors. There's no science to it. I mean, I guess there is science to how we do things, right? But I just do a little bit of contouring. Because if you use foundation, especially the Estee Lauder foundation, you do get very, like, there's no shadows or anything. And we need shadows. Shadows are beautiful. I realized something yesterday because Amanda, when we were walking, she said, Oh my god, you lost, lost weight! And my reaction was, I don't think about that much. <laughs> and I could hear Shiva being like, Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, then I was like, Oh my god, yeah. You know, I was like, instead of, you know, if someone gives you a compliment, take the goddamn compliment and be like, Yeah, of course, yes, yeah. No, thank you <laughs> because I, I you know I immediately knew that I, I answered wrong and I talked with Amanda about it and it's you know it is funny because I feel like we react like that a lot when people give us compliments and stuff like that where we yeah I don't know why actually but I think we do we're like I think it's yeah well it is a part of insecurities I feel and also the fact that, you know, I don't, I see myself every day, so I don't see, you know, like if there is changes. So it was a good lesson for me yesterday to realize that, yeah, thank you for that compliment. For some reason in the past I have been very bad at taking compliments. Okay, highlights. I use my all-time favorite Morphe brush. This is the best. And, oh my god, I mean, it's broken and it's old again. It's old as dust. Got it in LA. But this is the best highlight for me. And as you guys can see, I use the two first ones. Might be the last ones if you look in the viewfinder. I don't know. But the lighter ones. So I just mix them. Yeah, I mean, normally I don't do that much makeup, but today is special. I mean, listen, <laughs> we need highlight in our life. So then, <sighs> what I do is that I fix my brows, so I'm just doing the same thing, take a little bit more. <sighs> Again, it's uh, art. It's like painting, right? So I put a tiny bit on it, on the side that goes that way. Very important to remember. So if you do that way, you um, turn it over. Okay, I took for this one. What is wrong with you? And I actually think that I manifested the walk with Amanda because I've been thinking the past days like how see I did the wrong side it would be nice to actually like do walks but I don't really have anyone to walk with and then I just you know it slipped my mind again and then yesterday after my shoot Amanda was calling and she was like what are you doing Bonnie are you still having shoot I was like no and she was like well I uh, have a car today, so should I just drive down to you and then we sh can go to the beach or to... It's something called Sunahau. It's very beautiful. It's very nature-like. And I was like, immediately, I was like, yeah, 
Normally, you know, I would be a little bit like, no, because I'm like, okay, I've been working all day, I'm tired. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, let's do it. And after I was like, you know, who does that? Because Amanda is not just living around the corner, you know, she's living, you know, I don't know if it's 24 kilometers, is that how you say that, or longer? So it's, you know, it takes around um, 30 minutes to get to where I am. And she did that just to take a walk with me. That is a real friend who does that. And I just realized that I was just so grateful and I gave her the biggest hug. It was so nice to go out there. Okay, camera died. But I'm going to share some clips with you guys that I filmed. God. Yeah, it was very nice and just it was so quiet there was no cars and then the colors you know because that it was you know getting late and then let me tell you guys what happened so amanda without actually you know having an idea why but i know that it was my mom making sure that we went that way. She was like, I don't know why, but I'm just driving. So we just were just driving around and we ended up in the city where my mom is uh, buried. And we were just driving around and suddenly I was like, hey, we could go visit Muchi. Because my mom has also kind of been, <laughs> you know, uh, Amanda's mom. Amanda has always been a part of the family for the past 10 years that, you know, I have known her. So, we call him Wuchi. So we went there and it was, you know, <laughs> it was dusk. And there was not so much lights and it was snow everywhere. So, um, you know, we parked the car and we had to go through like the back of the, the graveyard. And uh, we actually, she actually parked next to the building. And I was a little bit, it was, I don't know, I think it was a healing process for me because we parked next to the the house where, you know, they show the casket if you want to see your loved ones. And I decided that I wanted to see her because I wanted to have another picture in my mind. Um, because again, as you guys know, I help do the, you know, I don't know what you call that. Yeah. And, you know, seeing her laying, you know, on the floor like that, I wanted to have another picture. So I wanted to see her in the casket. So we parked there and we had to go past that building. And I, I remember that I felt very anxious. But suddenly I was like, you know, it disappeared. And then I saw a deer. It was a baby deer. And it was, you know, running. I was like saying to Amanda, that is a deer. <laughs> I was so excited and you know I kid you nuts we could see you know down where my mom's grave was um, and it jumped like a fence or it jumped like um, the, the bushes the trees whatever you call that so when we came over to the grave we realized that it actually jumped over where she was buried how crazy is that so I took it as a sign that it was my mom you know coming as a deer which it fits so well with the meaning of a deer also with me you know being anxious and then suddenly realizing like hey this is actually okay and it's so funny because we were <laughs> laughing so much at that grave uh, graveyard and it was because that everything was covered in snow and suddenly we couldn't find out where she was you know where she was playing so we were dusting off different you know i don't know know why we couldn't figure out where it was because it's so easy but you know amanda was dead laughing because i was with my fingers putting away the the snow and it was cold and there was you know 
Um, and then we found it and I got confused because it's a fresh grave so obviously they have taken away the stones because that they are not being put back until two three months or something like that <laughs> so I was a bit confused like wait should it be like that and um, I use this by the way for my lashes oh I'm not done by the way but I could, I could, um, I could feel my mom being there, and I could feel that she was saying, "It's so nice to see you girls laugh and have fun." Yeah, that was so beautiful. And then you know, we just stood there for a little while, and then she drove me home, and uh, yeah, that was that. It was a very magical experience. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit more pretty, but I need a lighter color so i'm just using one of these colors but yeah that's that happens i was so crazy with the deer like what are the odds that it jumps over her grave right where she is <laughs> that was really really magical okay i mean i think this is good so normally i do or oh, sometimes i do eyeliner but i'm not going to do that today <laughs> So I'm just going to use this. I have always been afraid to use these, but it makes a huge difference. And again, you don't need to be afraid of it. No. And then we just use the foundation. Oh, the mascara. And I go down and then I, hoo -hoo. <laughs> and I always layer my lashes. I don't think I actually, fixed up on the dead eye I will do that after but yeah the other thing that happened today was that I wanted to film the shibis for you guys and suddenly moon moon came and it was so sweet I never experienced that before she followed me out over there to the shibis she was just sitting there <laughs> she didn't want to get close to the shibis but she was sitting there like looking and I filmed it and then when I went back she followed me again Never experienced that with a cat. <laughs> Moon is with us. Do you want to also go say hey to uh, her? I can follow her. <laughs> I want to say hey to the sheep is Moony. <laughs> I think this is from uh, the people I had shoot with yesterday. I know they went this way. <laughs> Come into the sunshine. <laughs> You're going deep into the snow, Winnie. Come here. Don't tell me that you haven't been this way before, Oh, Look at all that. I think you need to go this way. <laughs> look at her, she's following us. Oh god, okay. So beautiful. Okay, Moon. Are you with us, Mooney? Yes. Hello, Shibis. Look at them. Hello, Shibi Dibis. I don't know if we have full moon and new moon still here. Look at her. Are you saying hey to them too, Moon? Don't go out to the... the uh, yeah. Hey, Shibis. Come, Moony. How adorable is that? I just like, what? Hey, Shibis. 
Oh, they are coming over here. Yeah. Moon is here. It's like, okay. <laughs> uh, no. Hey, sheepies. We have the tiny ones still. Hey. People haven't seen you guys for a while. Are you guys enjoying the sun? Moon is <laughs> keeping a distance. <laughs> Should we go back, Mooney? <laughs> bye bye, Moon. <laughs> bye bye, Mooney. Bye bye, Sheebies. Meh. Meh. You guys are cute. Okay, Muniz, you guys have a lot of food. Say bye bye, people. Bye. <laughs> All right, Muni. <laughs> She's like, okay, let's go back. <laughs> we are following Moon. Oh my god, it's uh, oh, bitch. Where are you going? Come on. Yeah. Come, Muni. He's like, I don't know if I want to listen to you. <laughs> I like that she's following us. I wonder if she's going with us if we go back. Kissy! Come here! Meow! Okay. <laughs> Moon! Kissy! Is coming if we just start walking. <laughs> she was like, Where are you going? It's Moon Moon at the Shibis now. Come, Moony. <laughs> Can't see her anymore. Oh, <laughs> Moon, where are you going? By the way, I bought like a tracker for her to put on her so that we can follow each and one of her steps. <coughs> Muni, where are you going? Oh, okay, maybe she has her own path. She knows her way back home. I have my fancy shoes on again. Meow. Oh, she's there. You guys see her? Come here! <laughs> She's like, Mom, I'm a Taurus. <laughs> yeah, use the big tree for scratching. Money! <laughs> the sheep is like, okay, you're out of here. <laughs> Are you coming back? I think she's under. Hi! <laughs> Hi, Moni. Did you go on adventures with us? Alright, people.
moon moon adventures in the snow is this your safe spot oh what is that a piece of stone you can see everything from here huh Oops. <laughs> what did i step on All right. I'll talk to you guys later. It looks beautiful with the sun coming through. The trees. I don't know if you call them pine trees, but I believe it is. <laughs> no clouds today at all. Hi people, I told you guys later. Where are you guys going? Oh, there's a lot. He's coming. It's like I come when I want to come. Are you tired of the snow? <laughs> okay, so when it's a little dry, I do it the other way and uh, I do the same. Just make sure that your lashes are spread. And you know, some mascaras you can layer and other ma mascaras you can't. I actually had a question, someone made a question some weeks ago and I actually I don't know why I just remembered that, but I never answered that person. But someone asked, because it, does, it was a, a girl who was also doing YouTube, what I do with haters or people who leave nasty comments, or people who get mad or whatever, you know, because of their own insecurities. She asked how I dealt with it and, you know, how you brush past stuff like that. So if you are also a YouTuber and you have been dealing with that, because I know that some people, it affects some people. And sometimes there's lessons in it, like how we react and how we deal with the, deal with hate comments or people who don't understand something. And sometimes I answer those people like, well, if it's because of a reading, you know, I always answer, like, maybe this reading is just not for you. You know, it doesn't affect me anymore. It has done in the past. Um, but what I do, what I really have started out doing is that I block those people. If there is one little negative or um, nasty comment or whatever it is, I mean, again, um, const con what do you call it? Construct constructive? Con I don't know what you call that, but if it's you know, like something that, you know, maybe you could do this better and that better, then I don't delete it. But if it's nasty comments, I block the person. It is the easiest thing to do. You know, don't answer them. Ignore them and block them. Because the moment that you try to excuse yourself or the moment you try to, you know, answer the person, they just get way more you know, up in your face because that's what they, they want you to, you know, feel sorry or they want you to feel bad. So if you are a YouTuber, you know, ignore and delete or block those people because you will attract the right people. The same if you lose subscribers, that's something that I have to learn and that's why I, you know, she was like, why do you think that you lose subscribers? Because you still didn't get the lesson that some people have learned what they needed to learn and some people are just not ready for your messages. And it's funny because I had a subscriber actually telling me that. I have had a lot of you guys saying that. 
It's not about, that is the thing with the creative Aquarius. It's not about the material things that we can see anymore. It's about the invisible things. So, you know, being focused on how many subscribers do you have or how many views and likes do you have, that's not how what it's about anymore. It's about other things. And I think that is the energy that we need to learn to deal with. Um, it's way more deeper what we are learning. I just saw 11.11 with that. Well... But I feel this is the makeup people. Uh, with the with the foundation on the lips, normally I use this for the lips. I don't know lip balm. This is the easiest way to do it. You do this. This is such a weird um, shimmer thing. You take this, you wrap it around your finger. Voila! Easy peasy. <laughs> And then they are very red. And then you again, if you want, you can just go in with the highlight. It's so funny because when I do this and I just have my lip balm on, when I ask my customers, like, what kind of lipstick do you want to have on? And they're like, well, the color that you have on is pretty. I was like, well, I don't have anything on. But the, the fact that you are actually just putting this on and you're just, you know, rubbing away what is there, whatever it is, makes your lips you know, become natural in a way, without that it's too much. I have been wearing lipstick a lot in the past. I couldn't do videos or do photo shoots without wearing lipstick. For some reason, it was just my thing. But, you know, recently, I have the MAC lipstick, the Fox, I think it's called, that I use a lot because I love that color. A lot. I know a lot of you guys have are always asking, like, what color is that? Um, I use that a lot, but others, other than that, you know, but I know I have, again, I have my faces. The last thing that I do sometimes is they use this Sisley white eye, whatever you call that, in the waterline because it opens up your eyes. It makes your eyes bigger. Bigger. <laughs> bigger. As you guys can see, it does something. It's actually many years ago that I used black. Again, if I do heavy photo shoots, I use it, but other than that, I don't. But this is it, people. <laughs> the hair, I don't know what to do with. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial talk kind of thing. Now I want to prepare and do a lesson and then I'm going to just do a little oracle daily reading and then I'm going to mix it all together and uh, edit this baby and then you know I'm going to get back to work with editing pictures but I'll see you guys after good morning <laughs> next clip is obviously the lesson as I promised and it looks a bit different also, we are back at the normal filming spot, you know, I don't think I filmed here for a long time. And I put the, the painting up here that I showed you guys in another reading that my ex boyfriend actually did of me. Yes. My hair is a mess. I have Thai latte because that is what we need. Moon Moon is still outside. Oh, yeah. Candles are going crazy. Okay, let's see what we are on. <sighs> oh, we are on a new chapter. No. Yeah. We are ready to know. So we are on <gasps> the crown chakra. <laughs> well, of course we are. Okay, it's getting a bit hot in here. Okay, grab your coffee or tea or chocolate, people. Okay, Sahasrara is a Sanskrit word that means thousand petaled. The crown chakra is an energetic lotus. Lotus? Lotus? Yes. The crown chakra governs our spiritual connection and allows us to process and channel our interaction with the divine. Then there is a reason why 
things has been so delayed. Things has really been delayed this this week, <laughs> this month, because of the Mercury retrograde. Yeah, and I feel it's because that we are learning to again activate our heart chakra with our mind. So it makes sense that we're actually starting off the chapter with the crown chakra. Tapping into the unseen, to the spiritual energy. If it were in nature, it would be create creation itself. Maybe that's why nature was so crazy today. The energy that creates the soil, the rain, the sun, and the air. Isn't that funny? It would be everything that is. The crown center allows you or allows us to use our divine connection and our sense of connection to the world. The more time we spend in deep meditation and spiritual study, accepting who we are, that's what we are doing, the more it opens up. Ha! Again, there is a reason why we haven't done a chapter. Because I feel that this is the right time for us to actually open up for who we really are and accept who we really are. I just saw 542 with that one. Ask yourself the question, do you accept yourself fully? And do you allow yourself to create and show what you really want? Without thinking about like, oh, what would people think or say if I do this or if I create this or if I wear this or if I speak that? Because if you ask yourself the question, you're not allowing yourself to become who you really want to become. So it's very important for you to, again, allow your, your crown chakra to open up and show who you really are on a soul level. Again, your soul is the 90% and your earthly body and the treaty that we are living in is 10% of you. So tap into the rest. Again, I will link a video up here that I made about it. If I can't, if I can't, if I can, otherwise it's down below. Don't know what's happening for me. I'm preparing for you, okay? <laughs> okay. This center also governs our brain, our memory, our acad academic ability and emotional intelligence, and our awareness bunny of the spiritual realm let's just take it good morning bunny oh it's not working again of course not god darn it funny see this is what mercury retrograde does and it's been doing that all the time when amanda is trying to call me Hello, buddy. Hello. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Do you want to just take a moment to say hello to people? What? I'm filming. Oh, I couldn't hear what you're saying. Oh, I, said, I asked if you wanted to say hello to people. Oh, hello, people. And happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. I am back after talking with Amanda. So now we shall continue. I forgot to put the candles on again. What's up, Muni? Okay, candles are on. <coughs> uh, what did we come to? As we work on the crown chakra, okay, ability and emotional intelligence and our awareness of the spiritual realms. As we work on the crown chakra and allow our thousand lotus petals to open, we allow ourselves to heal any challenges we have with the divine and our spiritual connection. Oh boy, this is our 155. No separation is the lesson today. You are really progressing along your spiritual pathway. We. Oui. If there were a six gear, you would have just moved into it. <laughs> How funny is that? Oh my god, this is a tiny thing, but this is so funny. Amanda was um, driving the, the car, that was someone else's car, 
And she was like, this car has six gears and I'm not used to that. How funny is that? Yeah, obviously, you know, not all cars has six gears. <laughs> and if you're not used to that, you know, you're shifting into something new. <laughs> You are allowing yourself to be more attuned than ever. As your DSP grows, I don't know what that is, <laughs> and you become more spiritual aware, spiritually aware, sometimes it is very easy to forget about the foundations of your pathway. You are a bright light in the world and the universe is grateful for you. Yeah. You are shining and being the positive force in the room wherever you are. I hear that a lot and it's also something I tell you guys a lot. But it's important to remember that you aren't doing this without support. You have endured fear and encountered loss. Wow. That just hit me. Because I have. With my mom passing. How crazy is that? <laughs> I feel there is a bigger meaning with this lesson. Damn. And the feeling of being physically physically separated from the people you love. I know a lot of you guys have been going through that too. That isn't an easy aspect of your path. The phone was lighting up at 13, 50, 25. You have felt the pain of it. Yeah. But, all true, you have had those feelings and encouraged it heard. The truth is that separation is just a temporary illusion. The reason the feeling of being separated and lost is an illusion is because it isn't love. Hmm. Only love is real. I will link a video up here if I can where I talked about that we manifest with the feeling of love. Those you have lost, both from the earth and those you have separated from in life, will always be with you. <laughs> I got emotional with that. <laughs> wow. It's a deep one today, people. If you could imagine, someone said also people who lost pets. If you could imagine an amazing universe right now with beautiful stars shining brightly, you would see they were all connected. I feel there is a lot of you people's loved ones who pass over who are here right now to tell you how proud they are of your pathway. Yeah, each and one of you I heard. They were all invited. Um they were all they were all invited. <laughs> okay. What is happening? What is happening? Wow. Well, Shiva pointed out that a lot of you guys might feel your loved ones close by or you might feel that they're holding a hand on your shoulder or giving you comfort. I can see that the candles are going crazy. Huh. Grabbing you, holding you tight, giving you a hug, a kiss. I felt someone like holding a hand on uh, the back of my head. Okay. Uh, universe. Mm. I can't remember what I came to now. If you could imagine an amazing universe right now with beautiful stars shining brightly, you would see they were all connected in some way because they were all s sharing the universe. They were all individuals, um, fa facets, individual fa facets, facets of one great and beautiful picture. In fact, that is who you are, a facet of beautiful light. Yes, like energy. And your presence here adds to the beauty of the universe. Yeah. You are important to this world. Some of you guys might not see it, but you are. If you have been feeling lost or separated, you know that this is old energy coming up and coming out so that you can replace it with thoughts, feelings, beautiful memories and affirmations that are echoing your truth, which is what Aquarius is standing for. Then there is a little quote I think here. I'm going to show you guys so you can 
pause it and you can say it for yourself whenever you feel like it. Keep it. But I'm just going to read it up as well if you guys want to hear me say it. I am a divine facet of the universe. It feels so good to know that I am never separate from love. The love in my heart connects me to all those I love. I awaken the memory in my mind that allows me to feel connected with all that is. Thank you, universe, for helping me realize there is no time, distance, or space between me and love. I am love. I am a part of the bigger picture. I am the universe. If this is not a brilliant lesson for us today, whoa. I wonder how the reading is going to be today. What are we using, people? Well, we do have a tarot. I had a picture in my mind about a tarot card, so I'm going to grab it. Okay, so I grabbed two decks, but one of the tarot decks that I saw was this one. So I think we should take that first. I also took this one because I want to see what the universe and our angels and guides wants us to actually do today or what is going to help us activate or stay activated with our crown chakra. I have a feeling that this is going to be a very healing video with the nature I filmed, with moon moon, with the birds. I mean, how crazy is it? This video have been one big synchronicity. I don't know what that was because Moon Moon is here, but it sounded like someone coming through the um, the the cat's uh, door. Is that what you call it? And even Moon Moon was looking. <laughs> okay, maybe it was my cat pal who passed away, or maybe it's a bird. Oh, you are such a queen laying in the window. <laughs> okay, what is the message for us today? Expect. What did you do, Moon? What did. <laughs> expect miracles. Wow, the unexpected blue moon. We had the once in a blue full moon some time ago, which was very significant because, again, we don't. Ha we only have the once in a blue full moon every ninth year. <laughs> Extremes, hot moon. Yes, which makes sense why. Some people feel back pain or you feel hot or cold all the time. It's because of your energy and your body is shifting. And we have the hunger. I have spoken a lot about this moon and this oh, this card. Because this is the story of the grandson talking with his grandfather. About the two wolves that we have inside of us. And you know... I can't remember the story. I actually, maybe I should read it up. I know some of you guys have heard this so much, but there might be someone out there who, have, who hasn't heard it. And it just, it speaks very loudly about the feelings that we, f we feed. Like, you know, again, if you feel hot or if you feel pain, there might be something you need to release. There might be something you need to change the way that you, you know, or when it comes to what you feed your brain with, what thoughts you have. Because if you have thoughts of lack, the lack is going to manifest in different ways in your life, like people um, yelling at you at work, or you having back pain, or neck pain especially. Um, also, if you are stressing too much and you just need to slow down, Okay, it said grandfather that everyone has two wolves inside of them. The first wolf gives darkness, despair, and hate, and jealousy, and sorrow. The second wolf gives light, and hope, and helpfulness, and kindness. I heard someone say that someone out there is going to understand this message in a new way, or you're going to see something and hear something that you didn't hear in the past. Yet, grandfather, I feel them fighting within me. What can I do? Question mark. My small son, 
these two wolves will always fight and they will fight within each person. You are no different, said grandfather, said the grandfather. But, said the boy, grandfather, which wolf will win? Question mark. And the grandfather answers, whichever wolf you feed. It's connected with Amazonite as well. Oh, I can see that. We must also recognize that in life, just because it is a circle, there will always be leaner or less abundant or less bright times. Yet we have built our resilience and self-trust for times like this. And we know we are both loved and protected. The circle will soon turn to less shadow and more bounty. If that doesn't mix in perfectly with, you know, with the other message that we received or with the lesson that we spoke about, like shine bright. So if you have back pro problems or stuff like that, everything will be good again. Don't worry. I like that. I like that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> What's up, <Mama? coughs> Did you want to go out, Muni? I don't think so, because he's been out running all day. I think Moon Moon is a bit tired now. <laughs> okay. I'm excited to receive the tracking device that I ordered for her <laughs> to see where she's going. What is the message for us today? Extremes. Maybe some of you guys also, you know, you feel affected because of people around you, fights, <laughs> whatever else. Do you guys remember this card? Merciful Mother Yab Yabal or whatever you say, however you say it, uh, it's 44. This is absolutely crazy. And this is 43, so I feel like the unexpected is soon to come. And it will be, again, it's so funny, again, synchronicity is people, because with the post that I did with the reading on my Instagram and YouTube channel, there was this, I actually spoke with Amanda about that too today, there's this like jumping into colors. You're jumping into a more joyful time. Like you're standing close to the portal and you're so close to walk into this portal and you're not alone. You're never alone. You might feel alone, but you know, in any case, you have your spirit guides. Let's take the book and see if there's anything else to that card because sometimes, yeah, I actually th think this is the last card. Which is even more crazy. It is the last card. Yeah. It is the end of a, a journey. It is the end of a chapter for you. And you are jumping into something new now. <laughs> you blazing angel. Capable of so much. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling so emotional today. And it's so silly. Oh, no, it's a there is a blood. <laughs> there is a bird out there. Okay, I'm gonna take myself together. You evoke the testing hand of life. Why not when you cannot fail? Yet in your sweet surrender, how can the great beloved not respond in kind and offer you magic, comfort and mercy? Because not all success must be hard won. Can you imagine this? I feel that is a good lesson because sometimes I think that we feel like success is something that comes to people who work hard, which is not true. You just have to accept it in. I'm sorry that I'm crying. All the emotions. With your hand on your heart say, I call upon Jamal, mother of mercy. Ask for grace. Intervention and blessings now. In all matters of my life, I accept the help of the great universe, compassion, the universal compassion seeking to bestow, bestow itself upon me now. Thank you. If there is a foe or fight in your life, ask 
Mother of Mercy, to Blessed into Resolution. You are being told now that you can stand your ground and remain in your your strength without having to become aggressive. Yeah, sometimes, you know, do turn to, you know, like aggression. I know that I have done that in the past with my Scorpio. <laughs> oh my god. And I have one of my brothers who are dealing with that. He is a Leo. Like if something doesn't go his way, he's, you know, oh my god. It's like he, he's not uh, nice to drive around with in traffic because he's like blinking at people and giving like a finger to them, you know. He's like, oh my god, relax. So, okay, let's see what is the last message here. What is coming our way? I did hear someone say something unseen and something that you have rejected in the past, which makes sense with these cards. Yeah. You are realizing what the universe is trying to offer you with the Four of Cups. In the past, you might have pushed it away or you might not have been ready for it or you might just, you know, have been like, "Is am I worthy of this new? And yeah, because you have the Knight of Cups and you have the... The Eight of uh, Pentacles. Isn't that the Eight of Pentacles? I'm always confused with these cards. So a lot of you guys are, you know, receiving a new job or a new offer of love. Yeah. But you needed to be aware of something. You needed to release something. And that is the moment where things are just going to, you know, like flush in. Makes sense with this card. Something that you have pushed away or that you haven't felt worthy of is coming back into your life and it is emotional healing it's big time emotional healing the body does have a tendency to take us on you know emotional journeys for us to release what's no longer you know good for us what is what we don't need anymore the lessons that we have learned and with that we have a lot of realizations and it makes sense because also with the hanged man, sometimes we need to experience sickness before that we can actually realize, um, or before that you can deal with the new coming in. So even though you have been going through darkness and you have been going through despair and sorrow, you know, it makes perfect sense with this card. So maybe some of you guys have experienced sickness or, you know, like pain or in some way. We need to sometimes go through cuts to realize, to get a wake-up call. And I feel that a lot of you guys have been going through that and you're being rewarded for that, which is very, very, very beautiful. I like that a lot. What? Okay. Someone said turn over the deck. <laughs> I know why. Hmm. <laughs> This is what we spoke about, people. I love how the universe comes through, or the, you know, our angels and guides. This is what we spoke about. You are moving into victory. A new beginning, but a beginning that comes suddenly, with cuts and fears. What was that accent? Fears. Heartbreak, but you're healing that. You are healing that. And you are receiving your biggest wish yet. Unconditional love. You're meeting someone where you're like, whoa, this is my person. Maybe you already have met that person. I heard someone say, maybe, you know, you have to allow yourself to receive this love because you have never experienced that kind of love. Okay, last card, people, and then this is the end of a long video, probably. What is the message, or what is the last thing that we need to do today to open us up, open us up fully? We got these two cards in another reading. I did. I will link it up here. Cleanse your energy field. Connect with your ancestors. I don't think that the the message can be more loud and clear. Because it's, I can see there is a line going through the whole entire video with synchronicities and messages. Be outside. We did that today. You connected with nature. When you connected with, 
you know, with, yeah, with the unseen, you guys have a big day in front of you. If it's night, you have a big day tomorrow in front of you. But I think that this is going to be it, people. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. If you have been watching the whole entire video, thank you so much. If you have watched everything, put a flower emoji so that I know. And yeah, if you are near a private reading, healing session or removal of blocks, all information is down below. Remember to share this video with people who need a little joy, a little push, a little message. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye bye from Moon Moon! <laughs>